and Austell had a simple scheme of auditorium design and is seen here, like many of these other Odeons in original photographs, with the screen tabs showing. These were in brilliant colours. At the Odeon Lancaster, the slab tower thrusts upwards and twists against the run of the building. Berry has a tall central box dressed in faience. And inside, more striking screen tabs in this 1936 photograph. in Loughborough is pure 30s and brimming with confidence. The light faience mass relieved by windows, sitting on a black base and terminating in curved corners. Inside, the screen curtains show an Odeon all on its own in the mountains. Falmouth, seen with posters temporarily placed over the shop windows until the sights are let, was far too good an Odeon to be demolished for a supermarket. began to shape up at the challenge posed by Harry Whedon's crew when a young recruit, Horace Ward, designed this superb Odeon exterior at Well Hall, London. This is the independent coronet. Another Mather job, the Ramsgate Odeon, also exhibited real flair. And here, the horizontal bands on the side walls were ingeniously linked to the design of the main curtains. This is now a twin classic cinema. And now for a look at some of the Odeons designed by George Coles in the second half of 1936. At Southall, the exterior had a stolid dignity and it was inside that one found more of the modern 30s flavour. Yeah. 
became a short-lived bowling alley and then a showroom. At Ipswich, also to conform with planning requirements, the exterior had a restrained approach with tasteful classic touches. Note the foyer's false ceiling here in 1974 compared with the splendid original design. Note also the decorative light fittings on the side walls and their absence in 1974, creating a bland, dreary auditorium with only the vigorous downward sweep of the linear pattern in the centre of the ceiling still remaining to attract the eye. The cinema is now a bingo hall. At Horsham, an advertising pylon draws attention to the cinema's entrance, set back from the road. Spacious foyer and circle lounge with superficially applied decoration on the upper walls and ceiling led to a compact, narrow auditorium with a simple but effective decor. This Odeon has been demolished. Mm -hmm. 